to see. They will not be seen where there are celebrations, festivals, programs and events. Look to the choirs in the church today. When it's time for the anniversary, choir anniversary, the number of the choir members will increase. Some of them have on holidays for some time. They will take it fit to return to the choir because the choir some service day. It's quite a lot of They are occasional singers. They are ceremonial singers. They are not singers that are available as a point of view. A happy singer is a money oriented singer. A singer that is always motivated by incentives. A singer that is motivated by remunerations. A singer that will minister only when there is something to pay. A happy singer is a singer that too may be trained but not anointed. A lot of persons they will maybe go through the same to be trained, but they're not what an anointed singer. I wouldn't know because of training, I know that the training is not sufficient in itself. But the anointing makes the difference. It is the only spirit that teaches you, inspires you, reminds you, and gives you the message to be written and to be sung. The message of the past read to us. The king Jehoram was to go to war against the king of Moab because the king of Moab had rebelled against him. In the days of his father, he had, and Jehoram, the king of Moab, do face of dreams. But 12 years to me, he did not show. So the king of here, a king of uh, Israel, the northern Israel, Jerome, invited the king Joshua, the king of the southern Israel, Judah, to come and let him put an alliance from a Hali, the gate of the king of Noah. They also invited the king of Edom. And while they went out in war, against the king of Moab, there in the valley where they were. For seven days, they had no water. And so the king of Israel went on to the king Yeshua and said to him, are we not going to perish in this desert? No water for the soldiers to drink. No water for the animals. Let's even before the battle, we are all dead. Don't we have in this place a prophet of God who can tell us what to do? And someone told Jesus, Elijah, the prophet that pours water on the hands of Elijah, is here. And they come to Elijah and Elijah, Elijah and he said, Well, I wouldn't have talking to you and I wouldn't have listened to you, King Jerome because you are not of the Lord. But because I respect and regard the King Joshua, our Lord. And so when King, uh, when the prophet Elijah honored the invite to seek the face of God, he asked for something which to him is very, very paramount to his ministry. And what is that? He said, bring for me and happy Pray for me and instrumentalist. Pray for me one who plays the letter. Let somebody come and say, Pray for me a minister. And uh, it be hard to ask in the battlefront for a choir master, an instrumentalist, or a singer. It's soldiers who fight the war. Not singers, 
de Calas y Guzmán. He was on that day enlisted into the ministry of Prophet Elisha as his own instrumentalist, chorister, the one who lead him in singing in order that the heavens will open before him. I wonder why the Prophet Elisha asked for an artist. Is a prophet? Hold on. Anointed by him, but all to the significance of music and the place of the ministry, they requested for his sake. The question is amongst many who are here who are either called into the music ministry or who have been trained in the music ministry or who have been practicing music or singing music from infanthood. To your age now. How many can sing? That the hand of God will conquer. That young man was requested. And we know that why the prophet has called for him is an assignment that is big. But because I want to say he's been anointed. He did not resist. He came out and played. While he was singing, while he was playing, the Spirit of the Lord, the hand of the Lord, came upon Elisha the prophet. How many choristers, how many music ministers, how many song leaders or worship leaders today who sing, who play the instruments? And the heavens will be opened. That's why I said, Are you an ugly singer? Are you an ugly instrumentalist? Or a godly one? It is only that will start, it is only that will start to sing. In that small building, 1990. Nine, as the student union or the social director, while I was still occupying the lodge, I had a severe headache going to my high problem, and it was half, I was down. And I had a small party with all my pieces and all other foreign singers and some of our traditional all. African singers. So the Spirit just led me to pick that of young man. Singing praises. The Lord spoke to me and gave me the thing for 
Nesset Mike Church. Several times in this city, great worship, or several times, I still have this area. I see it all the time for young men, young women, or people of God who are anointed, who are called, who are spirit filled, to lead songs anytime I minister or I want to preach. Because by his grace, I'm also treated. And I know I've been anointed. 